Hi everyone, konnichiwa. I'm Yuka. Welcome to Yuka's Japanese Cooking. Today we are going to make ume onigiri rice bowl with pickled plum. Ume onigiri is a classic. It may not be an exaggeration to say that it is the original of rice bowls. Ume onigiri is made of plain white rice and pickled plum, which also sterilize the rice and is the synonym of simplicity in Japan. When I bought onigiri at Kobunis stores, I always chose the ume onigiri. So ume onigiri always reminds me my childhood. It was going to be the easiest recipe in my channel, so this time I'll introduce three types of ume onigiri. And as always, my friendly family, Mario and Luigi, will be joining as a helpers. During this video, I introduce useful cooking ideas and tips. So please watch in detail until the end. Okay, are you ready to cook? Okay, let's get started. Here are the ingredients. Okay, so three kinds of ume onigiri. So let's try tasting. Itadakimasu. Okay, so I'll eat the basic one first. Always reminds me of my childhood. Do you like pickled plum? Or have you ever eaten pickled plum? Please let me know. Let's try the one with yukari inside. When I, I bite each time, I can taste 
the piece of pickled plum. Hmm, it's really chunky. And the glutinous millet rice. I feel there's a little bit in my mouth. This is a new style, ume onigiri. Okay, and then last, the bonito flakes and soy sauce. And also, shredded kelp. And also, pickled plum. The flavor of umami. The bonito flakes and soy sauce spread in my mouth. And sometimes, I can taste the small bits of pickled plum. I can slightly taste the seasoned shredded kelp, which is very nutritious and healthy. And there's not strong plum flavor for this onigiri, so, so I think children would love this too. Which one would you like to try first? Gochitousama deshita! Here are the tips and recommendations of today's menu. And tip, you can control the strongness flavor of pickled plum. If you cut into big sizes, you feel more pickled plum flavor. So please control. And tip for this soy sauce and bonito flex flavor, grilled onigiri. Actually, you don't need to grill. If you're busy, you can just mix the ingredients all together and fold triangle shape or round shape. For children, it might be good not to grill since it gets crispy outside. So it might be hard for children to eat. And tip, this time I used the plum with honey. And the one, it's very crunchy. There's so many pickled plum in the market. So please find your favorite one. Okay, so the tips and recommendations. How was the ume onigiri recipe video? I hope this recipe video will help you to make daily meals. And special thanks to Mario and Luigi. Thank you, Mario Luigi. Good boy, good boy. And they always live like this in a basket. But you will meet Mario and Luigi on my second channel. It's called Yuka's Diary. Yuka's Diary. I introduce my daily cooking, so please subscribe my other channel. And if you want to know more about Japanese food, culture, and family lifestyle, I also send a newsletter. To sign in, please go to my food blog. It's yjc.tokyo. yjc.tokyo. The pop-up screen comes up. So please type your email address and name and click. And that's it. And thank you for always supporting and watching my videos. And your break button motivates me every time. So thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.